It may have been 12 long months, but the images are just as fresh. This is what is left of the TVC Communications building. The last signal from this building, many will remember, was a live breakfast show that was abruptly interrupted by the strange visitors who were on a mission. Thank you very much, Mia. Please stay safe. I see you're not geared up. Please stay safe. Take cover as much as you can. Okay, I have to go. Mia, stay safe. Presenter of TVC's highly successful program, Your View, Mariah Afolabi Brown steps into the building one year after. She attempted to locate a program studio. This was our playground for TVC Entertainment. We had everything in here. You know, this was, my, that used to be my studio, you know, and it was like a thing of pride. And that's where I sat when we were trying to hear them upstairs. And we didn't hear them upstairs. And then we sealed this door. We started carrying chairs from this side, carrying chairs from Wake Up, from East Splash to cover up the door when we saw that fire was already going on inside there. We saw the, we saw the fire going and we saw the people throwing stuff. So we saw the, we, no, we hadn't seen fire. We, was, we saw people throwing things in there. So we hadn't seen the fire. We had only seen people destroying stuff and we now sealed it up. And then after we sealed it up, we're now making calls and trying to make calls. So he was telling us what was happening where he was on the island and we're trying to communicate. So somebody was talking to me in my ears, telling me that, okay, talk to me and and I spoke to me, and after that, we then lost contact. We couldn't hear anybody upstairs. And we kept saying, please, what's going on? What's going on? Then we said, the, 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 the Dolakwa is coming downstairs. I can't see Dolakwa. Dolakwa is Dolakwa. And that was it. And then we, and it just went blank. And then we, then got, we now heard they are here and nothing else after that. But if we had stayed here, we'd have burned to death. I just, I just hope that, I was hoping that the memory would just go. But, you know, it, it, it's quite like yesterday. I can't believe it's almost a year now. I actually thought I was gonna die when those mobs saw me. I saw anger in their eyes. I saw anger. Well, they said they are at the gates, that they are already at the gates, that we are at our gates. Welcome back. 2020 for me was such a trying year. Everything that threatened that year happened to me. I had COVID, I was lost, dealt with my husband down, found the strength to come back to work. Yeah. And then has happened and it seemed like you never gave anything. That rumor that Bimbo just touched in that report now, I met my neighbors. Having a reckless, careless, nonchalant conversation about the burning of the building and saying, eh, she don't go even go work again. She for day the fire. Wow. I've, I've never seen them. The conversation made me stop, look back, pick their faces, wonder where did we cross each other? Mm. Just, just, I hate to use the word because I don't believe in envy. I think it's something that is far from me. But why? That whole year, everything that could hit me, hit me. It reminds me every morning, I reflect on the verse of the Quran that says, Allah promises to test us. It says, I will test you with a bit of fear, hunger, loss in wealth and lives, fruits, and give good tidings to the patient. Mm. Give good tidings to the steadfast. And I kept saying, be patient. Because I lost my father. My best part in the most trusted person in the world. And I dealt with this and somebody could do. So when I don't blame, I, I'm now selfish. I can't deal. Mm. I don't care what you think you know. I, I remember in the beginning of being on this show, the several meetings Mariah and myself um, had with NBC. NBC on what are the rules. And we're told over and over again, there are times when they've shut down media houses 
What I want people watching to understand is the fact that while we're dealing, dealing with regu regulations, and for those of you watching from, from the house... I that we speak the truth. And, and even Despite with that, yes. even with that, every time anything goes wrong with the facts we say it, mm -hmm. when it requires you call out authority, you, you do, do that. that. But this is a regulated industry. We cannot sit here and run a show without the NBC. And around the world, even in the Britain of Britain, in the US of A, <laughs> of the US. they regulate the media. Yes. US of Britain so, because Britain. I don't understand. Well, let's talk about the law. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about the law. Let's talk about the law. Let's talk about the The love is only possible mm. if you know the sacrifices and the extent of the job. True. Mm. The True. impact of the show. True. All those who showed love, and even the class color, are people who know the impact. The conversations that started on this table mm -hmm. that were able to change the narrative for people is because of Our only those policies who that not became... you who watch the show once and say, no, I want Nima, I want Pope to say the thing I'm feeling. The thing that you cannot even substantiate. Mm. You want somebody to say it only as if they were there. And when they have to answer to libel and slander suits mm. and, and NBC regulations, where will you be? Will you be? Mm. We as journalists know the, know the facts. And we don't push it, because the last class said we should watch what we say. How? Just because we're not pushing the agenda that was most popular doesn't make it untrue. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm -hmm. The conversations that were That's most popular, thing. a lot of times the, the loudest no, time. noise mm. is baseless. Mm. Time. <sighs> yes. We're wrapping up. Let's okay. take a final word, Miriam. Okay. So my final word is, I would, um, first of all, I want to thank all those who have shown us love and support. I remember when this was happening last year, there were people calling and crying, mm. feeling it like they were right here with us. And they've been with us through the years. Um, even as the year was coming around, people were sending messages to say, oh, I remember when mm. this happened. Hope oh, everyone is fine. So for all of you that... Um, show us love and support. We thank you. Amen. And, you know, may you never have to go through what we went through. May you, Amen. your loved ones be always, may your loved ones be safe always. Amen. When they go out Amen. to work, may they come back safely. Amen. Thank Amen. you. And I also want to say that uh, to all Nigerians that we should let love lead. No matter how angry, no matter how upset we are with things, we should never degenerate mm. to a point where we start hurting and harming each other. We are the same. We are united in this fight. If Nigeria is better for one, Nigeria is better for all. for all. 